welcome let's look at this question and uh, linear kinematics calculus 3 a ball is thrown vertically upward its height in each meters at t seconds is given by h equals to 5 plus 30t minus 5t squared we have to find the velocity of the ball at the time t equals to 2 seconds find the maximum height the ball has reached so if you look at this carefully we know this is going to be the displacement and this is velocity velocity is what displacement over time meaning differentiation of the displacement with respect to time so we just speak it from there directly That if I'm giving h equals to 5 plus 30t minus 5t squared, then velocity is going to be the differentiation of h with respect to time. And that will give me 0 in the case of the constant. If you differentiate the t here, you get only the coefficient. That's 30 minus 2 times 5. That will be 10 t square minus 1 that will give it t so this becomes the velocity so we are finding the velocity at the time t is 2 so we can say that at the time let me just say time at time t equals to 2 seconds your velocity will become 30 minus 10 times t which is now what your 2 so velocity will just be automatically 30 minus 20, right? And that will be giving us 10 meter per what? Seconds. So the velocity of the ball when the time is 2 seconds will be 10 meter per seconds. So this is the first part as the A. Then the B part, maximum height. You know, when you throw a ball, if this is the ground, you throw a ball up, when a ball gets to a maximum height, it will not stay in there. When a ball gets there, it will definitely come down. So when it stop, before coming down, at the point that it stop, the velocity is becoming what? Zero. This is the maximum height it will reach before it begins to fall. So when the ball gets to that maximum height, the velocity of the ball will stop because nothing is propelling it again. So the, uh, whatever is propelling or the force will leave it at that moment. Meaning at that time, the velocity becomes what? Zero. Then it begins to drop in a negative direction. So this point, the velocity is going to be zero. So if we are going to say that, so at a maximum height, the velocity of the ball is going to be zero. If that's the case, then let's find the time that the ball is going to get to that place. What will be the time? We know V is equal to, from here, 30 minus 10T. So when V becomes 0, we have 0 equals to 30 minus 10T. Negative 10T comes here to become positive. Divide by 10. T becomes what? 3 seconds. Meaning, after 3 seconds, the ball will begin to come down. That is the height. So what is the height then? So the height, it implies that the height, when the time is known, will be equal to 5 plus 30 times the time, 3, minus 5 times the time, 3, all squared. I believe I can deal with this as 5. 90, this is going to be 9. 9 times uh, 5, that would be 45, right? So I can deal with this as 45 minus 45, as 45 plus 5 equals to 50. Therefore, the maximum height is going to be 50 meters. It will be at 50 meters before the ball will begin to what? drop down. Against the concept, applying the kinematics uh, into this 
is okay by you. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel, share, like, and comment.